Hey everybody, Metal Jesus, and I am back once again with... Mort Guffman! Mort Guffman! Today, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna show them today? Pickups. We got a lot of things that we have collected because we are collectors. We are collectors. And we find stuff all the time, but we don't show it off all the time. Well, I kind of do. Metal Jesus here, and I found Alien vs. Predator so. long box on the PC. You kind of do, but it's my turn. So let's let's show off together. Welcome to our pickups video yeah. in our games rooms. Okay, interesting way to start. I am gonna start off with my first pickup, which is actually for Mort. What? Because you already know about it, but you don't know what it is. You probably forgot already. You're the N64 guy. I was game hunting and found something for 50 cents sealed. Ooh. N64 Top Gear Rally <laughs> by Midway VHS. Rad. So, this is for you, sir. I found that for 50 cents. This is awesome. I never, I never see Top Gear Rally uh, VHS before. I, in fact, I didn't even know it existed. It's like everyone knows like the Star Fox one and the Donkey Kong ones. But when I found that, I was yeah. like, Mort, dude, look what I found. He's like, I didn't know that existed. I'm like, neither did I. Yeah, this is incredible. So we're gonna start off looking dumb. Let us know in the comments below what the heck this is from or where it came from. But yeah, it's a Top Gear Rally N64 VHS. I've literally never seen it before until. Now. now, cause this is not some weenie paved road kind of event. This is Top Gear Rally, only on N64. I've not seen such bravery. My first pickup is I got the Top Gear Rally N64 Stupid. VHS box. <laughs> So a uh, game I'm really excited I picked up recently is God Hand on the PS2. I think this has got the manual. Yeah, complete in box with the manual. This game is hilarious, but amazing. It's a beat em up that's a Western by Clover Studios who also made Beautiful Joe and I think parts of it have gone on to then make the teams that make like Bayonetta and stuff. Wow, so I myself have never even played this game. It's one of those games I've seen the cover for yeah. out game hunting. What like vein is the graphics? You say coming from a developer like Beautiful Joe, yeah. what, what do they do with the graphics? It's it's here. not the stylized okay. kind of look of Beautiful Joe, but okay. it's it's like classic PS2 graphics. Okay. It won't blow your mind, but it also it definitely has a specific uh, art design to it because it has that Western theme. Got it. Is it something that you would recommend I play? Absolutely. It's so absurd, and the absurdity of the game is what's great. But it's also pretty expensive right now. Uh oh. And uh -oh. I happen to find it uh, far below retail at Good. a thrift store. Oh, well, that's the way to find stuff. Thrift yeah. store finds. Yeah. I've not seen such bravery. All right, for me to start, I got two Sega control sticks and I got these actually for a really good price. I got them both for $15 and these have kind right. of been climbing up in prices lately, but more, have you ever held one of these? May I? You're gonna find yourself really thrown off because something you might not have noticed right off the bat uh -huh. is they put the joystick on the right side. Ooh. So it, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with this when they Could switched. Like Play it this, yeah, then well, you gotta then switch you gotta the opposite. buttons. It's kind of a weird layout what they did. As far as it goes, it has a couple grips on the bottom to help keep it on a table, but yeah. it's not really gonna stay because it's so lightweight. There's also some nodules and bumps here to maybe rest your mm. palm on. But I myself, uh, these are more of a novelty for me. Yeah, I don't think You're I not could really- You're not gonna be playing these very much. You're just mainly going to be using them uh, for the sake of, for hey, the, Master System. For the guy. sake of, I used them. Yeah, and I, I love how the aesthetic of them very much sticks with the look of the Sega Master System itself, mm -hmm. but I'd say as far as like how it plays, the NES Advantage is a far superior control stick. So. Nice. But still happy to get them, two of them. Yay. For the price of probably half of one, so. Really? Yeah. How, how expensive are they? They're kind of like 20 bucks each nowadays, so. I'll take it. Good score. Thank you. I've not seen such bravery. So a lot of us uh, are finding deals out in the wild. This one was not. This one I ordered online. Okay. But that's because um, it's Astrobot for the PlayStation VR. And a lot of the reviews coming out for PSVR games are like, that's a cool experience, that's not a cool experience, etc. I got this because the reviews are like, this is the best VR game to get. And wow, in fact, really? Sony has bundled it now in their system. Who does that character remind you of? Wally. Yeah, it totally looks like Wally, and it's a 3D platformer. Um, I have not started playing the game yet, but I'm really excited to just because the VR has an incredible first impression that got it, it leaves. Got it. But as far as long-lasting gameplay mm -hmm. experiences, once you get over the novelty of it, 
yeah. what's compelling to stick around for. There's stuff out there uh, to play for sure, but this is one I'm, I'm looking forward to, to dealing with. That's definitely something I would need to try out then because that's been my biggest problem in VR yeah. is enjoying it, but then getting over the experience. And if you definitely want to know more about VR, this isn't a plug at all, but my buddy John Riggs has a whole PlayStation VR podcast and he knows all about that. So check out. He has that a PSVR podcast. Yeah. That's awesome. You see, the you the more you know. Ding ding ding. I've not seen such bravery. I like to mix things up when I do pickups. I don't only like to show video games. Yes, I have a ton, but uh, these are just random right here. I got two action figures. I got a Friday yeah. the 13th Jason Voorhees, and I love these these style because they definitely have like that He-Man big yep. ultra buff. I do feel like I'm looking in the mirror from the neck down. From the neck yeah. down. And, and then this one I had to show for two reasons, because it kind of went along with the horror theme, yeah. but I was given this oh. by someone at an expo, and the reason this is special to me, I've been given a million gifts, and I am thankful for each and every one. I really am, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. But this was given at Portland from a little girl who said that she was specifically looking to get me this, and it, I, it, it got my heart. I saw you get that on video and thought, man, that is the coolest thing ever. Do you play with them in a sandbox or anything like that? I do. I've not seen such bravery. I got this Top Gear VHS. <laughs> <laughs> So the, I got what? this <laughs> Stupid. Um, Somebody end our show. So I, I am a big Xbox fan. I love the original Xbox. Um, my favorite sort of the multi-platform games, I've said this before and I'll say it again, look and play the best. However, yeah. there are exclusives on that system, believe it or not. Uh, this is one of them. This is called Raises Hell. I owned this when it came out. I don't know what happened to my copy of it, but the story goes that you're this um, sort of race of ugly monster type characters, and you get invaded by the culets or the cutelets, uh, oh. and they're these little pink uh, and brightly colored sort of adorable animals. Not the most devastatingly scary enemies I've heard of. Except that they come into your town and they take over everything, and they oh. say you should want to be cute like us and it's sort of this little political sort of uh -oh. uh, sort of double Trigger! <laughs> Trigger! I go to my neighbors too and tell them they should be cute like me too. No, that's adorable. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, but uh, it's it plays out like a third person shooter and okay. it's incredibly gory and really? really like hilarious. It's flawed. I mean the frame rate stutters, but it is okay. also backwards compatible on the Xbox 360, you know. So if you want to tear apart animals that are ridiculously cute in ridiculously gory ways, raise his hell. Do it there. PETA's gonna call us, you know that now, right? They're not real. Okay. Fake PETA will call Fake us. PETA. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've not seen such bravery. Another VHS pickup for me. I had to show this. I don't even know that much about it. I actually yeah. watched it last night on YouTube. Samurai Showdown, the hey. official motion picture. Dude. Th so this is really cool. I found this at Retro Games Plus uh -huh. from our buddies, and I got it for like $3 when I was game hunting with Rad. Metal Jesus. And I was really excited to see this. I think it came out in about 1993, 1994. Okay. But it is in English, by the way. You can watch this. It plays in English. But something Sweet. that I think is really cool is the, the VHS itself white. is really cool looking. Check yeah. this baby out. That's really cool. Yeah, the uh, the texturing and then the, the white. That's yeah, cool. it has like a different feel to it. Yeah. And reviews online were kind of saying it's not the best movie ever. Maybe why it's three bucks. Maybe why it's three bucks. Yeah. But if you like Samurai Showdown as I do, it is a great piece to add to your collection on your game's walls. Cool. Give me my VHS. All right, thanks so much. You already got one VHS. He's a more do 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 Hot snakes, I like it. <laughs> well, he's hey. a He's a dancer, he's a dancer, he's a dancer, he's a dancer, he's a, I've got no other lyrics. All right, cool. I've not seen such bravery. There's a lot of Wii games. There's a lot of Wii games. And weird, one of what's, you know, our, one of our One of the publishers that makes video games is Atlas, and usually Atlas titles are very expensive very. later in life. And the Wii games right now being so cheap, I feel like now's the time to dig in. Yeah. Weirdly, these are Atlas games, but they're like when sports When you showed me that, I was like, no, they're not. You read it wrong. I'm like, oh, it is. They are. I Don't worry. I'll show them. Yeah. I'll show them. Sorry, I yelled at you, I apologize. I'm a dream come true. There's two of these. They're both published by Atlas. One is just the regular 101 in one game. The other one is the sports one. The sports one is climbing up in value. Crazy. And I found it uh, for a really good deal from our buddy Secret Game Stash. Oh, awesome, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Dude. So I picked it up to give it a shot, and hey, if I don't like it, then I'll sell it for $1,000 and retire. I think that's cool. I've not seen such bravery. 
As you guys know, been obsessed with the Sega Master System. Kensiden or Kensiden. Now I got this for actually like 10 bucks uh, from my buddy Air Force Shields at uh. Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Now this game, I wouldn't say is the best game, but it's one of those games that you play side scrolling, you play as a samurai and it controls a lot like Shinobi on the Sega mm -hmm. Master System. It's very stiff, it's very rigid, but it's cool. It's one of those video games where you can start out at one specific level, but then you can kind of choose your path from there on out and like Mega Man, you want to pick certain levels first because you acquire different powers. That's cool. That, that help you beat certain bosses. Now, I, I'm not saying it's as good as Mega Man. Just let me make sure I say okay. that out there. So yes. So this is Riff's uh, favorite game above Mega Man. No. And, um, I don't know much about Master System. Cool. So would I? Is this a game that I would want if I didn't know much about Master System? Uh, I would say yes because it's not a bad game, but it's not a great game. It's right That's in the cool. middle, but it's affordable. Yeah. And when you're collecting a new console or something fresh, you don't need to always go for the heavy hitters or the low. Pick up some medium range games and see I've how you never, feel. I've never seen this one before either, so. You know what, cool. I actually don't see it very often either. So when I saw it there, he had priced at 12. He actually tried to give it me for five. I was like, I gotta pick this up. So very happy to get that. That's awesome. From the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen such bravery. So retail stores are, um, Hard to, sorry, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, All retail right. stores. So you often think that retail stores, you want to quote unquote, catch them slipping yeah. as it were. The, the, the NES Pursuit coined that phrase. Right now, Aaron is uh, pissing me off. I went to one of my favorite retail stores locally. It was Book Off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, every you know, hey, if stuff's sitting on the shelf for a while, sometimes the price is old. And Absolutely. in this case, um, they were lowering all of their Xbox 360 oh, nice. games. Bioshock is one of my favorite series it's of a all great time. Great series. Every game in that series, I love. This one's probably my least favorite, to be honest. I think the first one's probably my favorite. Uh, so anyway, so I found this eleven dollars. <laughs> complete everything in it and I just thought you know as a Bioshock nerd I'm gonna own this. I always thought that this was my favorite um, styling of a Bioshock game and I mean that by the American tones. Yeah. Like I love like the flag and I loved how they played like an American song yeah. in the trailer for it when it released and the guy in the cover or yep. the main character looks I mean I wouldn't be sad if I woke up looking like that. I've not seen such bravery. This is a good one. I saved this one for last because these are quite pricey nowadays. I was <clears> given this, given this for free. Me, NES Complex, and Jay all got one of these NES controllers, the Sharp NES controllers by Joe Alonzo from Rad Junk when we were in Florida. Wow. So the reason these are really cool and really hard to find is that in the late 80s, I think it was actually 1989, Sharp worked with Nintendo to make a console and a TV in one. Yes. And the only way to get that controller was with the TV. These were not sold separately yeah. on their own. So anybody who owned these TVs were able to get these controllers. Each TV came with two controllers and these right now are like catching like 120, 150 bucks a controller. No. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry. I know. But they're they're a basic NES controller, but they it's are really cool. all black. They say game television on there. Just a really cool, honestly, kind of a grail item for NES collector because yeah. you can't just find those. Have you ever actually played a game on the Sharp Ball in One? Yes, yeah. I have. They look awesome. Yeah, I played it in Texas. A buddy of mine named Kingsley yeah. uh, had one. He ended up trading like a whole table for a Wii U dev kit or something weird like that. And a Sharp NES TV was in there and wow. I checked it out. It was really cool. So that to for have- For a whole table. For literally his whole table. Oh, I thought you meant like just a table. No, no. <laughs> just for a table, yeah. Thing. Yeah, so that is, I think, a pretty cool grail item to me. This is awesome. Yeah. Nice find. Thank you. I've not seen such bravery. All right, guys, the big question is, what have you been finding out there, yes. picking up? We have a ton more, by the way. We just didn't want to go crazy showing everything. Mort, tell these people, the good people, where they can see you out there. You can see me on Instagram, Mort underscore Guffman. I think that's what it is. That anyway, is. Um, but yeah, uh, I post all my pickups in real time on that, so check it out. Um, I get a lot of stuff each week, yeah. and it's a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to have a fun weekend for looking for more games, too. We're going to so be filming be cool. tomorrow, so that's it. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking the video, and uh, that's it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Look behind you when you wake up. That's where we'll be. <laughs> yeah, see sleeping ya. right in your 
Wait, Peacing out. This nope. is Billy and Jay. Have a good one. Yeah. Riff and Morty. You're supposed to walk off. For Fox News. Walk off. What? Fox News, MSNBC, uh, CNN, NBC, uh, the Young Turks, uh, Donald Trump Media, the Hillary Clinton thingy, my Bob. I said everything so nobody can get offended. Yeah. <laughs> or everybody's offended. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>